Welcome back. It is Tuesday, November 29th in the NBA. We got our two favorite picks coming your guys' way. But first, let's recap yesterday. So close to the 4-0 sweep. We'll take a 3-1 day, though. Our best bit of the day, this man, Tyrese Halliburton, gets it done. Is over 29.5 points plus assists. The Pacers come back, upset the Lakers on a walk-off three-pointer by, I believe, Nemhard. But what a crazy game. We also had Suns money line. We also added a play at Kuzma over 31.5 PRAs. He gets that done easily. Probably not the last time you see Kuzma on the channel over the next week, especially Halliburton as well. Our only loss was DeMar DeRozan over 27 and a half points. He scored four points in the first half, scored 22 in the second half, had a mid-range to go over. He obviously does not get it done. But either way, a great start to a new week. If you are new, go down below, hit that subscribe, and we do these videos every single morning. Also, drop a like too. Let me know your guys' favorite play for this game, this three-game slate. It's not a good one at all. And if we helped you make some money, look, go become a COS All-Star. Hit that join button on the channel. You get our plays early. You get some custom emojis. You also get shouted out at the end of the video, and you get to show some appreciation for the channel. Only $2.99 a month. Go hit that join button right next to our channel name down below and as a reminder from yesterday call on our shop merchandise is here we got a hat t-shirt quarter zip all of it available at call on our shop.com i saw a couple of people bought some stuff so that's awesome hopefully you guys really enjoy the products we put some a good time into it and i know it's a little bit expensive but we really like the quality for it we want to be some we want it to be something you guys want to wear every single day and be better now let's get into our favorite picks of the day we only got two picks and i do want to apologize because the picks are a little bit, I mean, we got three games on, and these games aren't that great. But I'll dive into this first one. It's a guy you might have heard of, Luka Doncic. And I'm taking his under 17.5 rebounds plus assists, which is currently minus 128 on FanDuel. Now, if this line does go down to 16.5, these lines can be pretty sharp. I'd play 16.5 at one, or just a half a unit. But I do think you can go under both of them. And if you're like Austin, I don't have a rebounds plus assist line, I wouldn't take Luka's PRA line as a pivot. Although, you know, his PRA line is like 50.5. But if I had to look at maybe an under, it's specifically rebounds or assists, I actually lean his under 8.5 assists. You know, I understand why. Now, Luka, obviously, it can be a little bit scary taking an under for him. He's going to have the ball in his, lot, in, in his hands a lot. And he's going to have a high usage rate. But looking at the year, he's averaging 8.6 seven rebounds per game and 8.4 assists per game so 17.1 rebounds plus assists per game and it's not gonna it would it surprise anyone if Luca goes out there and has a triple double or like 20 assists no but I don't think he's really gonna go off off tonight against the Warriors and in 18 games so far this year Luca under this line in 13 of 18 now some of them come near the hook where he ends with 17 sometimes he gets the 18 but if Luca has an off rebounding night or his teammates aren't making shots, he isn't going to sniff this over. That's just how it works. He has to have a good rebounding night and has to have a good assist, a good night where his teammates are making shots. And I can't guarantee his teammates make shots. And we've seen Luca have games where he only has like three, four, five assists. And if he gets that, it's going to be very tough for him to get 18 rebounds plus assists. Hence why I like the under. Now, let's also talk about his track record against the Warriors. Now, I'm going to throw postseason games out. I don't want to look at postseason because postseason games a lot different than regular season. Teams obviously care a lot more in the postseason normally go to take away your number one option don't really know if the Warriors just send four double teams you know a ton of double teams at Luka tonight but you look at in the regular season against Seth and Curry nine career matchups against Steph in the regular season. Luka averaged 7.1 rebounds per game and 6.3 assists per game, 13.4 rebounds plus assists. He's gone under in seven of those nine games. And then the last five matchups, four of them being last year, we saw Luka have 19, 13, 11, 15, and 14 rebounds plus assists against this Warriors team. Now, the Warriors are likely, good. a lot of teams don't make Luka play defense. I think the Warriors will make Luka play defense. And normally Luka, why he gets so many rebounds, he just sits in the corner guarding the, guarding the guy that's just sitting in in the corner he just piles up the rebounds i don't see them doing that today see we've seen the warriors go small and when they go small they're going to see draymond green out there and i think luca's going to have to actually play some defense and i wouldn't be surprised if we see the warriors put luca in some tough situations and say you know what luca you have to actually play defense and that's i think how the warriors have a chance but i also look at luca Look, I know he's great, but it's tough to get a 17 and a half rebounds plus assist line. It doesn't matter who you are. Nikola Jokic struggles to even hit a line like this every single night. And I just don't know if Luka has it. I mean, Luka's capable of doing it, but I'd rather just take it to the side. I'd rather side with the statistics. He could score 50 points, but if he doesn't get, you know, nine rebounds and nine assists, he's not going to get this over. So give me Luka Doncic under 17 and a half rebounds plus assists. If you want to pivot, you can take maybe his no double double prop for a half unit, but I'd rather this if you have it. Now let's move on into my next play and why I apologize at the top of the show is because we have two rebounds plus assist lines. I'm taking Jalen Brunson's under 10 and a half rebounds plus assist minus 120 on FanDuel. I fully expect this to get juiced. And like I said, I apologize. I don't like taking a lot of these props where some people can't play them. And I, I know it, it, it's just tough. When you give me three games and we're in early in the morning, we don't have a lot of lines. I got like six players to choose from and I got to pick what I got. And I really do like this Brunson under 10 and a half rebounds plus assists because similar to Luka, 
Brunson has to go out there and rebound the ball and assist. If he doesn't do either one, one of those two things, he's not hitting this line. And while the Pistons aren't, you know, the best defensive team in the world, far from it, I still do think they can maybe limit his rebounds or limit his assists. And while if you had to do an individual leg, I lean his under and rebounds. I'd just rather not take an under, you know, three and a half rebounds. That's just a little bit sketchy. I also think he probably goes under an assist today. If we look at sometimes they lower assist line, we've seen Brunson kind of at six and a half assists for like minus 115 or so, minus 110 value on a lot of books. They just lowered it to five and a half. And while I would not say take the under five and a half assists, we also did sell them do a similar thing with a guy like Shea Gillis Alexander yesterday. They juiced his over five and a half assists. He did four assists. They were begging people to lay the juice on five and a half. Could they be doing the same thing on Brunson today? Maybe. Now let's talk about Brunson though. Averaging 3.6 rebounds per game, 6.67 assists per game for 10.3 rebounds plus assists per game. He's under an 11 of 20 games, so a little bit over 50%. But Brunson's going to have games where he's going to get five, six, seven rebounds. He could do that. He also will have games where he gets zero, one, or two. And if it's one of those games where he gets, you know, the zero, one, two rebounds, He's not going to hit this over. I mean, he would need eight, nine, ten assists to hit this over. I don't know if he's capable of getting that done. Now, in the previous two games where we've seen them take on the Pistons, he had eight and eight rebounds plus assists in those two games. So going under both of them, he played 33 and 28 minutes. Now, the Pistons have struggled really hard defending opposing point guards, but that's just because they're giving up the most points per game, just points guards. So if Brunson's feeling it. He can be shooting a lot. He could go out there and shoot 25 times. Brunson's been playing really well. He can shoot a lot. I can find if he shoots. I just don't need him getting a ton of re rebounds and assists. And the Pistons are about middle of the pack in terms of those two categories versus opposing point guards. Also, the Knicks fully healthy for the first time in what well, feels like over a month since the start of the season. Mitchell Robinson finally back. Cam Reddish is back after a couple games off. Derrick Rose also available. Tom Thibodeau, you never know what he's going to do with the lineups. Could the Knicks lose this game, get blown out? Yes. Could they blow out the Pistons? Yes, they've done it before. And I just, could we see Tom Thibodeau just bench him because he doesn't play any defense? Yes, also true. Brunson is always a candidate for foul trouble. Five fouls in his last two games. And also, he doesn't play any defense. So if he's not really playing any defense and not giving a lot on the offensive end, maybe not making shots, I wouldn't be surprised to see Tom Thibodeau try to get a spark plug in there with Emmanuel Quickly, Derek Rose. Who knows? But Brunson also averaging 1.4 fewer assists per game on the road. And... I I just would rather take the under here than the over. I just think there's more stats to back up the under. I know the Pistons don't play a lot of defense, but that's not a bad thing because other guys can go out there and score. We don't need to see Brunson having the ball in his hands 24-7. So those are my two plays of the day. I'm sorry they're both rebounds plus assist lines. I'm just trying to find the best value I can on the board. Hopefully he's go that both guys go under all their categories and we all cash out just like Halliburton, I think, went over in all of his categories last night. But either way, we'll be back tomorrow. A much I think there's 13 games on tomorrow. So we'll have more plays. And I'll definitely make sure that there's some that all of you guys can take out there. But those are my two plays today. No added plays. If you're like Austin, I need a spread pick lean. I don't like forcing spreads in these three-game slates. But if I had to pick one, Pistons plus five or the Mavericks plus two. I think my if I had to pick one, my more favorite one would be the Mavs. I think people are just going to go out there and see all oh, the Warriors are, are back. They're winning these. No, that's not how betting spreads works in the NBA. I think the Mavericks probably win that game outright. Now, I'm not putting any money on it. So if it comes back, you don't say, Austin, you're an idiot. I'm not putting any money on it, so I'm not going to tie my money onto the Mavericks. But they're a much better at home team than they are on the road. And the Golden State Warriors coming after a crazy, crazy game against the Timberwolves where they could not miss. Start like 60% from the field. Probably not going to make as many shots tonight. The only problem with the Mavs is... Well, they're the Mavs. If Luka Doncic isn't cooking, it's going to be tough for them. So I'm not putting any of those plays out there, but my two plays, Jalen Brunson under 10.5 rebounds plus assists for one unit, and Luka Doncic under 17.5 rebounds plus assists. I know they're a little bit juiced. I'd still play each of their lines if they do go a little bit lower, but only for half a unit. We do have a couple new All-Stars. Appreciate you guys, as always, for supporting the channel. If you want to support us, click the Join button on the channel. Here are they. We got Roger. We got Brandon. We got Anthony. We got Perfect 10 Holdings. We got him. Good to see you here. Hunk, Uncle Sonny's Barbecue. We got Slow Morrow Productions. We got Antonio and we got Emerson. Thank you guys all so much for supporting the channel. We can't do it without you guys. I'll be back tomorrow for more picks. We'll also, some NFL videos live tomorrow. It's going to be a good day. Reminder about the Call in Our Shop merch. If you want to go check it out, callinourshop.com. You can at least see what we got to offer. We might add some couple things on the store soon. And then, of course, no added plays today. You don't have to check the pin comment. Let's have a great Tuesday. Let's keep our momentum going. Let's go 2 0. I'll see you guys back again Wednesday morning. Peace out.